What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at the weekend box office and I also let you know what is coming to streaming services. As I predicted, both Barbie and Oppenheimer are riding out the summer movie season because both of them are continuing to rake in the cash. In first place, still after four weekends, it belongs to Barbie. She brought in another $33.7 million. In second and third place, second place now belongs back to Oppenheimer. Because if you guys remember in last week's video with the debut of The Meg 2, that took the second place and Oppenheimer went down to third place. Apparently Oppenheimer was not done making its money because it bounced back up to number two with 18.8 million. And in third place is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem with another 15.7 million. This film is well on its way towards 100 million. And I've heard great things about the movie. It seems like everybody really enjoys this. So I'm actually considering going to see it myself. I don't usually go in, I don't usually go to see animated titles, but I'm hearing great feedback. So I am kind of curious about the turtles. In fourth and fifth place, fourth place belongs to the Meg 2. It dropped down two spots to fourth place, bringing in another 12.7 million. However, Global so far, worldwide total after two weeks is over $250 million. Internationally, they love the Meg films. And if this movie continues to rake in dollars like this, a third movie is probably guaranteed on the horizon. And finally, in fifth place, unfortunately, is The Last Voyage of the Demeter, bringing in, in its first debut weekend, $6.5 million. Unfortunately, this film just really couldn't find its footing because it's going up against such huge movies and there really wasn't a lot of marketing for this film. I went to go and see it this past weekend. It was average for me. I enjoyed it. I felt like it could have gone a little bit further. I gave it three out of five stars on my letterbox. And unfortunately, it just didn't make that impact because, like I mentioned, lack of marketing. There were only a few trailers out there. So combined with going up against such huge movies and also with the lack of advertising, this is what you get. Six and a half million. I'm not calling it an epic failure because it didn't make just two million dollars, but it really didn't do that much better. So what is brand new at the box office this coming weekend to bring even more competition to the summer movie box office season. We have three main brand new releases and the big new release is Blue Beetle. This is another DC film. It is the second to last DC film that we are getting this year because as of right now, Aquaman is still on the schedule for December, but that could always change. Who knows? But it's probably going to stay put. Now with Blue Beetle, I'm not really sure where this is going to debut. At first, industry insiders were predicting a 12 to $17 million opening weekend, which is absolutely horrible. However, early screenings have produced a lot of positive feedback. So now they're predicting around a $30 million weekend, which is still horrible for a DC film. But if Barbie goes down just enough and Blue Beetle exceeds that 30 million, we could have a brand new number one. So it could go either way. Blue Beetle could overtake Barbie or Barbie could maintain five weeks in a row. We will see. So we have two other brand new releases in case Blue Beetle is not your thing. You have superhero movie fatigue and you want something completely different. We also do have Strays with Will Ferrell and also Jamie Foxx giving the voices for the dogs. And also back on the strip, pretty much the black version of Magic Mike, if you will, starring Wesley Snipes and also Tiffany Haddish. So there is some variety for you out there. But what is debuting on streaming? Because as I always say, there's always options on streaming for you. So over on Netflix, we have The Pope's Exorcist debuting on the 16th, 
with Russell Crowe and also the documentary of the trial, Depp versus Heard. So if you guys were completely engrossed in what was happening with that couple, then there's a documentary coming and it's probably going to be pretty juicy. So <laughs> Mama Blu-ray might be watching that one because she was really obsessed. She loves Johnny Depp. Anyway, all right, over on Max, they have Mark, Kim, and Chef. Hulu is debuting. Miguel wants to fight and also to catch a killer. Amazon Prime is adding Cocaine Bear and also Of an Age. And finally, over on Peacock, they have Killing It Season 2. So that is everything happening at the box office and also on streaming. So comment down below and give me your opinion. Which movie do you think is going to be number one next week? Blue Beetle or Barbie? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.